under the illusion that when you're in a vacuum, you don't hear anything. to be in a vacuum. He wouldn't hear all this. Doesn't that sound like they're in water? Ridiculous! That's somebody under the in the water. Can you hear that? Anything. Say he banged or something banged into him, he'd feel a vibration. Listen to that noise. What is that noise in the background? Let alone the noise the astronaut, the waterman's making. He's just a, he's not even a scuba diver, he's an underwater man. Just listen to that, please, everybody. Please, like a couple of people write to me, well one in particular and has a go at me on every single post I make. He has a go at me and all I keep finding is the mistakes. Now don't go through many footages, but I'm just going through these. Did you hear all that? Did you hear it? What is all that noise? And you see that thing up there that keeps moving? That's moving like it's in water. Oh my goodness. All that on the outside. All those wires going 17,000 miles an hour. Does anything look like it's moving? The only thing that's moving is this person here in the water. Look at all these wires and things outside. I wouldn't want to be on that. I tell you what, for anybody that loves space after watching all these, I tell you what, I wish I had the money because I'd pay for a ride for you in one of those rockets because we'd never see you again. Uh, they're fake. Uh, you would die. That's what would happen. And you'd end up somewhere in the sea. I think we should put our politicians in the rockets. They should have first place to going up uh, on a rocket. We'd never see them again. Just listen to that noise. How can people watch this and not understand? This was two. Th this was May 2015, and not understand what they're listening to. Like no one understands what what a being in a vacuum would be like. You wouldn't hear anything. The astronauts will tell you there's absolute. Well, it could be no. They're lying, but they will tell you there's absolutely no noise at all being in a vacuum. So what's all this? Oh my goodness, look at all those wires. Oh my goodness, do you see all those wires sticking out there? Look at all that. All that would have to happen is a little tiny meteorite would have to smack into that be the end of it before, well, a, meteor, a little meteorite hitting this anyway would be the end. But I mean, any problems, all the wires, look at all these wires. That, look at this. 
they're on the outside. This is not high tech. There's no way I'd want to be up there in that. That's a death trap. Go pro astronauts. What's that supposed to be? The sun? outside going 17,000 miles an hour. Yeah, okay. We did talk about this on a hangout with uh, the Moor guy all the other day. That has never been earthed. It's been up here for 15 years and it's never had its discharge. How could it be up there for 15 years without any discharge of all their electrical stuff? You know, aeroplanes have the same thing, but they land on the earth and the, and the discharge gets dispersed. But this thing has never been earthed and it's been up there for about 15 years. They've never had a problem. I mean, just look at all these things there. Look, there's more here. Who would put all this on the outside? Is that supposed to make us believe that this is high tech and wonderful? Because all it looks to me is that some kiddie made it. It's just, just, what, can't you see what you're looking at? You're not looking at anything high tech or wonderful. And you would not hear that noise. Noise doesn't travel at all in a vacuum. Do you hear the noise? hundreds of miles up there looking down on Earth. Wouldn't you be just a tiny bit frightened? Yeah, you're attached to the ISS space station, but you know, would you want to fall off? There's no stars whatsoever. That's like, sort of like, Getting on for a quarter of the earth there. Yeah, right. Please go and do your research about vacuums. You would not hear a thing. The only thing that would happen is any movement would be felt as vibrations on your in your clothes. You wouldn't hear a noise. I'm just watching these and recording it, you know, I wasn't planning to and then I thought I know I'm going to find mistakes on anything I watch from NASA so I put my recorder on so I haven't thought about what I was going to say but I'm sorry, you can all, oh, it just, it's just so fake just think of your computer games it's that kind of thing you know that they can almost make them virtual is that noise? Oh look, there's another astronaut in there waiting to come out. No clouds moving.
decompression. Do you know what would happen if they came in from a vacuum and came back in there? They'd shrink to half their size. They just would. There's no way, even if you could survive in a vacuum, could you could ever survive coming out of the vacuum, back into atmosphere. Oxygen. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at all this outside. Look at all those. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, look and listen. The same noise. If everybody really please go and do your research on vacuums, please. Because they are not in a vacuum. They are not in a vacuum. nothing there's no air there's no nothing so it wouldn't matter with it I just can't see the difference of being here or wherever it is if you're inside it it's still going to be the same inside there's going to be nothing in there then how come things are floating around I put out here when supposedly the astronauts are in the vacuum chamber they're walking around just 